Lily Show. I'm your host, T. Lily. <laughs> what a beautiful day it is in Long Beach. I'm so, I love California. First of all, I want to give God praise who just blessed me with so many wonderful people in my life, and especially you. You watch the T. Lily Show, and I'm truly grateful. Also, I want to say my sister love Bachelor is back in California. <laughs> So we're going to be working together. You're going to see more plays have, than you have ever seen before. Not just that. John Gilman was on my show. If you go to pagnet.tv, look for the T. Lily show. He was on my show. He wrote a song called It's the Jesus Thing. But he's here today to do his new hit. And it's called It's a Brand New Day. I love it. The world love it. And most of all, God love it because he wrote it. Amen. So please welcome John Gilman and his friend Kim on the T. Lily Show singing his new hit, Brand New Day. See you in a minute, okay? Hello. Hello there. <laughs> this is John Gilpin, and we got Ken New here on saxophone. Yay! And uh, we're going to be playing uh, our song, and it goes something like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. You make me so happy. You make me so glad. Wake up in the morning, I say. Welcome to the T. Lily Show. I'm your host, T. Lily. Yes. I 
got a great man of God sitting next to me. Matter of fact, he uh, came to see one of my plays. I wrote a book called The Jesus Thing. Yes, I did. And I lip synced. John was there to um, do the music. Two days later, he called me up and said that God gave him a wonderful song. I loved it. We record it, and it's all over the world. Thank you, John. It's called The Jesus Thing. So all you have to do, if you want to see us do it live, go to pagnet.tv, and you could and pick the T. Lilly show. As a matter of fact, you can watch all my shows. But I have John on my show because he wrote a new song called Brand New Day. The story about it is fabulous, what God could do. Please welcome Johnny G to the show. Yes! Thank you. Thank you. Welcome Thank you for back. having me. You came for my birthday. I know. Remember? We I, that birthday. was your birthday present, it Jesus thing. Present. I had yeah. it written and copyrighted in time for your birthday. You did. But matter of fact, my birthday is the 18th, and you made it on the 15th. Yeah. Right. Is that okay? That is, <laughs> I, I'm so excited. If I could do a cartwheel, I will. Right. <laughs> I would, okay? Tell us about your new song. Matter of fact, introduce your You friend. know, I brought a friend today. Yes. This is Ken New. Ken New! So it's Ken New N E W. N E W. So Ken New what? Ken New everything. Oh, <laughs> you got me good with that one. Tell us about your relationship. How did you guys meet? Oh, Ken hey, we've got we go way back. We used to work together. Mm -hmm. We've been playing music for how long, Ken? Uh, about thirty-five years. Thirty-five oh, years playing 35 music. Thirty-five years. And so, working together. Uh, at Northrop, and then also playing music. We're in a band. We've been in a band now called Hornet Nation for the last 17 years. And it's been a blessing because we make a difference through music. And we're also, what is it, purpose-driven? So we just don't play at nightclubs and that kind of thing. We have a purpose, and we play to glorify God. And we also bring the gift of music to others, and that brings us such joy. So Amen. Ken's Amen. been a part of that from the beginning. Well, I did a show uh, for the 4th Street Senior Center, uh, played Granny, and if you ever seen Granny, she's an awesome woman. Matter of fact, Granny is really T. Lily old. <laughs> you know, so I'm playing myself, basically. And uh, John called me up and he said he had a good friend who would love to come. And uh, when I first met Ken, do you remember that day yes, we first the, met? At the Senior Center. At the Senior Center. You, you, did you think I was crazy? Tell me, what yeah. did you think about me? I thought you were crazy, and I still think you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know we on television, it's, good, right? it's a good crazy. It's a good crazy. Thank you so much. And I appreciate that. Full of love. That. Full of love. And, and I know, because I ran up to you, and I said, hi, Ken. And you're like, how you doing, you know? <laughs> and it's like, God, who is this? <laughs> and John, you said, that's T. Lily. I warned him. You, you did? Uh, I, really? I, I gave you a hug, though, right? Yeah, oh, look, a squeeze. Okay. Yeah, you a squeeze. Did you really warn him about that? Yeah. For real? So we, you got to warn you about you so you know. But it, it didn't help, did it? He still went like this. <laughs> but you got to squeeze, though. What did you say? Really, seriously. I just said, hey, look, she's crazy. In a good way. <laughs> Are you kidding? Did you really say no, that? No, that's true. Really? She loves God. She loves Jesus. And she loves life. Did you tell him I was loud? Uh, no, he, he found that out from himself. Okay. <laughs> tell us about your new song, Brand New Day. I want to I hear the story about it. Well, you know, another thing, hey, God gave me the words and the music for it, and I was writing this song, and I do a lot of writing on the freeway. You know, it just comes to me. I pray about it, and I'm ride, driving, and I was struggling with what words to come up with and the title. I didn't have a title for it yet. And uh, I was driving on the 405 freeway, and I was coming around to get back, get on the freeway, and I looked up at this building, and it said, Brand new day. I go, that's it. So I incorporated that into the chorus part, finished that chorus with that in there, and I made that the title, Brand New Day. Is that a God thing? That's a God that's thing. Right. It's nothing but a Jesus thing, baby. <laughs> but, okay, so before you seen the sign say Brand New Day, you had the beginning. You yeah, I had the beginning. And, right. So the thing about that, you know, trying to write songs that are encouraging. I mean, we live in a world that's very depressing. And, and, the, and the theme of this song is that we can choose to be happy. You know, we can choose to be happy. And we just got to go ahead and say, 
hey, no matter how bad this day is going, tomorrow's a brand new day. Amen. And so, Amen. <laughs> but what, you know, I, 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 you guys, I'm looking for the tea lily show. Thank you. Tell us the words, though, because they are so important. It's a brand new day. And every sense that you have given me that song, every morning I listen to it. Because it is a brand new day. Yes. I mean, it fits so well in my life. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you're going through, listen to this song because it will remind you, it's a brand new day. Every day is not like yesterday. Mm -hmm. And the word of God said you cannot bring back yesterday. Mm -hmm. And don't worry about tomorrow. Live for this day. Amen? Mm -hmm. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. And we're going to rejoice for God right now. Amen? <laughs> I love them with all my heart. Tell us some of the words. Okay, well, so I came up with the words like that. And then, and then so what, what I did, you know, Ken's been in my life musically for a long time. And I go, you know what, I want to add some saxophone to it. Mm -hmm. You guys like saxophone? Yeah! And so I invited Kenny, Kenny over to the house. And, and uh, I want Kenny, I want you to ex share this because he saw this song go for uh, just a raw idea. And we started playing with it. I had the acoustic guitar. He played the sax. And we took that from that room, added the structure. And then he went ahead and went down to the studio and added his part. And, and then he came back, went on vacation. And he came back, and I put it all together. I brought in a guitar player from our band. I brought in the bass player. I brought in the drummer. I brought in some background vocals. And so when I played it for him again, Ken, tell us how that how that whole yes, Ken, evolution. Yes, tell us, tell us. I was amazed because I, uh, you know, sat down in John's living room. We were sitting just like this. Um, came up with the idea for the song. I, I kind of came up with my little sax part. And, uh, you know, from there we went to the studio and I just recorded my part. But he had sent me a couple of MP3 files of where they were, you know, where he added the guitar. I said, wow, that sounds really good. But then I, I went on vacation, I was overseas. And uh, when I came home, th it was done. And I could not believe the change from sitting in his living room to the finished product was just amazing. And, and John did a great job of adding people that were really talented. And they put their ideas into it as well. And we have what we have today. But it's, it's really uh, amazing to me from where we started up seeing him in his living room to the finished product of what's on iTunes now is uh, amazing. And you know what's really amazing? You on the T. Lily show, baby. Uh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what, amazing. Really amazing. Because when he, okay, do you remember, I'm, I don't want any credit, but I'm going to get some. <laughs> you sent it to me. And we was rehearsing it at 12th Street Senior Center. Remember? Mm -hmm. Because usually I open up the show as Granny, and you gave me a vision. See, don't open up as Granny. Open up with me. Because I want you to sing this song with me. And John made us rehearse in front of everybody the first time. And he was like, you make me be happy. And I said, happy, you know. And when I, you sent it to me, I remember he used a little bit of my talent in it. Do you remember <laughs> that? Because I said, happy, you know, not thinking that he would use it. And I am truly grateful. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not on the CD. Jesus is saying you will hear my voice. But I love to sing it with you. I, I think, well, hey, we're going to be singing that song forever now. Well, well, we're going to open every show. Yeah, that. and you're going to be singing that. Day. In fact, I like your part so much, we did it twice on the record. So glad, so glad. Yes, I did that. See? Credit. <laughs> I did say, so glad, so glad. And, and it sounds just like me, too. And how do you like this part? Oh, that's my favorite. Come on, y'all ready? about that? What made you do that? Uh, I just like rhythms. I like stops. As Ken knows, I like stops in songs, you know, starts and stops in songs. And I like hand clapping. I like that kind of thing. So that, that just came to me. I'm just thinking about it. I like that. And just, I don't know why it came two and then one, but it just worked because I came up with it on the guitar where that part comes and you just, you just hit, you don't play chords. You just, you know, make a noise. Exactly. And so, hey, just rip, doing that. That's and what it came up with. So it works. It's God. You see? 
Matter of fact, I tell you, God gives me my scripts. Uh, he tells me what to do. Now, what I have been doing that I didn't do years ago when God would give me a vision, I wouldn't write it down. Mm -hmm. And I would say, okay, God, I'll get back with you. And the next day, I can't remember anything. So anytime God gives you a vision and you know it's God, write it down because he wants you to do it. Like he mentioned, his song started out as a vision, right? That's what King said. And look what God did, you see? He put it all together. He told you who he wanted to be on the song. Because I, I believe sometimes we have the wrong people in our group, okay? And, and you don't prosper. You wonder know why. Because some people really is not living it. Amen? You, yes. we, we judge people of how they look, but we really don't know what they do at home. I don't know your personal life, but God does. And always remember, whatever you do in the dark, it shall Lord come in the light. Lord. Amen. That's right. And fear the Lord. But I've got some great news for you. I put up 60th birthday party for my sister in April. She turned 60. Her name is Mercedes. Matter of fact, she was sick, but she's home now. Let's give God a praise for that. At Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, Tony is the manager there. It's right there on Broadway. And uh, God blessed the party so well. I had performers, I had singers and lip singers, that they asked me to do it for Mother's Day, okay? We did it for Mother's Day, that was a success. They asked us to do it Father's Day, that was a success. So now they offer T. Lily and Johnny D a chance to put on a show every one Sunday of each month, and we decided that we was gonna, we are gonna call it Senior Sunday Spec. Spectacular, yeah! And it's only for, for three hours, you know, from three to six. T. Lily is there, of course, I'm the MC. Uh, Elvis performs, Granny is there, I have lip singers. I have uh, LaDonna lip singer, I have Rosemary, I have Harriet, I have Mike, I have Sandy. Now Mike and Sandy, they don't be in the show, they just be helping. But how about those Lily and the... Oh, T. Lily and the Lily. Lily. Lilies. Yeah, How about like them? T. Lilies and <laughs> you know, I lip sync and I got women lip syncing behind me. But this show is going to be even better. I, I still have T. Lily and the, and the Lilies. Matter the fact, Lilies. I came up with that. We didn't know what name. And I In fact, like I see that. a couple of them over there. Yeah, we got a couple of them over here. Yeah, they He's are. here for the Lilies. <laughs> okay, and I also I want to tell you um, the next Roscoe Senior Sunday Spectacular. It's going to be July 21st, uh, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle on Long Beach. That's right off of Broadway. Then I'm going to tell you, July 27th, T. Lily is going to be the MC at this Hawaii, Hawaiian bash at a church, at a church that I love, that I'm going to join, I believe. Bible Faith Ministry Christian Church is located at 1309 East 3rd Street in Long Beach. They having a Hawaiian fest, so, you know, and they told me about it. I believe it's at 11, but I'm going to give you this number so you can call. Please call area code 213-327-5636 or call 213-570-0685. Now, what you do, just tell them T. Lily mentioned some party and uh, holla, uh, Hawaiian bash and fest, and they will give you the information, okay? So we got... We did uh, Roscoe's, right? That's July 21st. Then the Bible Faith Ministry is July 27th. No, check this out. July 12th. Yes, how about yes. July 12th? July 12th. Ken's going to be there on July 12th. I'm going to right? be there. Ken, you're going to be there? I'll be there. Okay, I got to tell you. July 12th, T. Lily is putting <laughs> on the show at the 4th Street Senior Center. That's right, you know where it's at. The cross street is orange. The address is. My guests know the address. What's the address? Fourth and Orange. Fourth and Orange. Oh, no, but what's the address? 1150. I'm sorry. 1150 East 4th Street? East 4th Street. Street. Let's give it up for Harriet. Yeah. Harriet. 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 I want to talk about Harriet. Okay. Harriet just won an award for the best volunteer service in the world. Oh, wow. Yeah. And she can dance, too. I've oh, yeah. seen her dance. Oh, yeah, she could dance. And the award, like, I mean, huge. I'm not talking about a little piece of paper. Not just that. 
Hi, Rosemary. Rosemary Wade to the world. Yeah, there she go. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> they just was picked, handpicked, to do an article in the uh, Long Beach Press Challenge right now. Wow. Wow. And they in my shows. You know, I did wow. Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. So we're going to have Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles uh, entertainers come and talk about the show at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, okay? Awesome, yeah. Okay, so now I want to tell you about this woman that I met. This woman, I called her seamstress, okay? And she corrected me. She said, I am not a seamstress. I'm a designer. I didn't know the difference. Okay, she literally, you know, I'm not a so <laughs> what? So, and she said, I design clothes. Ladies and gentlemen, her name is Jennifer, but her uh, design is Astarte, and the top I have one she made just for me. No other woman in the world had this top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so she's got, I'm praying she be my designer, okay, hopefully. And uh, we're talking about putting on a fashion show at Roscoe's. And of course, we're going to have entertainers. You know, there's no way I'm going to put on a show without Grammy and T. Lily and lip singing, okay? So I'll keep you posted with that. Jennifer have her own website, so uh, I don't know how to reach her. Maybe uh, we talk about it later, okay? So anyway, let's go back to Johnny G. Okay, Johnny G, you told me also you're working on another song. Tell us about it. Even though it's not ready, can you give us Well, actually, actually, Ken and I are working on a couple songs. we got three that uh, we want to bring to the studio. Uh, I Choose Joy. I Choose Joy. Kind of the same line as Brand New Day, but uh, this is the day the Lord has made. Mm -hmm. uh, you may be having a bad moment, but not a bad day. Okay. I Choose Joy in my life and so we're working on that that's going to probably be the next project that we go in the studio with and uh, we we've started in the studio but we just got to finish it and so I want you to be a part of that I'm all yours baby <laughs> oh you have to do it yeah I'm all yours you know just say she literally jump and I would say how high okay, okay. jump so Joy the first tell me, Ken tell me about the second song sounds a free indeed who? What's the what's the other song? The average guy. Oh, I got some other one. Well, we got and three. And then free of, indeed. Got three of them. In Tell the me works. about average guy, Ken. Uh, it's a song that John wrote. Is and, John wrote uh, again? Uh, yeah, and uh, you know he's just talking about uh, an average guy doing extraordinary things for God. So basically, you're talking about yourself. Well, no, we're talking about people. You know, just talking about look look at in the Bible where here you got uh, David. He was a shepherd boy, but he did extraordinary things for God. And so there's a lot of different examples in the Bible of that. And there's a lot of different examples of people here on earth that, hey, look, you got God on your side and you can do extraordinary things by just being an average guy or a gal, average gal. And so that's the theme of that song is uh, you got God on your side. And hey, I'm just an average person, but it doesn't hold you back. If you got God on your side, you can do extraordinary yes. things. Yes. Right, Ken? And you know, I know, God only use one person to make a change. Yes. One. And if you don't do it, he looks for another. Amen. And can I just say something? It's yours. Say what you so, so people like you are. Like are, me. <laughs> no, people like you are. Or oh inspir inspiration for people like us that song write and that, you know, you're an inspiration. And, uh, you know, we draw from that. And look at Jesus thing. I wrote that song because I'm just talking to you on the phone and then watching your play and seeing you in action. And so that came to you. And so that goes back, and I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves or behind ourselves, with Beacon for Him. That's where we met. Mm -hmm. The inspiration for that song of helping the homeless. And that song came in place, and we ended up using that song to go ahead and open the show every day. I mean, every Monday, remember that? Yeah, remember and you couldn't Monday. sing with us because you had a job to do, so I gave you a cordless mic so you can go ahead and <laughs> take care of your line, the food line, and sing at the same time. That's remember right, that? That's right. So anyway, you're an inspiration. Thank you, John. Thank you. Matter of fact, LaDonna told me that. And speaking of LaDonna, she catered the food today. And our caterer service is called Nothing From A Box. 
everything that she make is homemade. We had a, did you enjoy oh, the, yeah, the lunch good. that she good. came? I oh, yeah. Just everything. Yeah, I loved it. The bean dip was awesome. Oh, that was really good. The, the uh, devil eggs, my producer kept saying, how many people coming? How many eggs did he have? You know? Uh, so I'm going to say how to the down and nothing from a box. So we're going to be seeing her. She's another uh, performer that lip synced okay. on my show. And uh, we're going to see a lot of her because um, she's going to be my assistant. So I didn't have a, 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 I was blessed with an assistant and also Jennifer. No. <laughs> the designer. Okay. So we talked about Brandy Day. Then we talked about what's the next song with the guy? What, what? I choose Joy or Average Guy. Average Guy. I choose Joy. Okay. So uh, tell us, would you be driving half the time with God give you the songs? Actually, I just came up with ideas and I run to the guitar and I just start. Okay. Stop. That's how I start. Say that again. You come up with ideas, you do what? Ideas. God puts ideas in my head mm -hmm. and, and I go to the guitar and I pick it up and I just start. That's what you said. I run to my guitar. Did you hear him say that? He said, God give me an idea and I run to my guitar. Now, if you would have said, okay, God, I'll work on it later, I don't believe he would have finished Brandon. But here, here's what happens is that a lot of times what happens is that uh, I have to go ahead and commit and take that next step because, and here's that next step. I get the ideas, and if you don't capture the ideas that God gives you, you may lose them if you walk away from it. So I record it to get the melody. Cause you you got to have the words, but you got to have the melody, how it flows. And so the next step is re just capturing the melodies, and then you can work around that with the words. But then you start typing it. I go on the computer, and I capture or, or I write down. I got paper plates. I got paper plates that I just write words on. You got to capture them and keep them. And then so, so my wife sees all these words on a on a paper plate, she goes, oh, you got another full plate today. <laughs> so, well, so, your wife, what's her name? Connie. Connie, please give her my love. I will. How's her health? I heard she was feeling too well. She's doing good now. She's doing Thank good. Thank you so much. Connie, God bless you. Thank you for letting your husband be around T. Lily so much. You know? <laughs> Thank you. Every time I turn around, you got to work with T. Lily. And mm -hmm. I want to thank you, Connie, because he's really working with me. Um, I'm, the brand new day, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about that because what I have been doing, people call me up for prayer, okay? And I start out with, it's a brand new day. It's a brand new, whatever you did yesterday, it's gone. It's over. Mm -hmm. God let you wake up this morning mm -hmm. to start a brand new day. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I messenger in the song. And the ones that listen to it calls me right back. The ones that don't, I don't hear from. You see? So you know who's really want to hear this song. And I'm guaranteeing you this song will bless you because it blessed me. It blessed John. It blessed him in the audience. I'm telling you, anytime you, you feel lost or you feel God isn't listening, listen to that song and it will pop you back mm -hmm. into the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Because then you start saying, it's a brand new day. Come on. Everything's gonna be okay. So here we go be saying, watch. Tonight when you're at home, you're gonna be washing dishes or whatever you're doing. And that song goes, it's a brand new day. You hear my audience? Everything's gonna be okay. okay. Now, I'm, I'm gonna put. They can get that for themselves, you know. Tell us how. You can go on iTunes. Okay. Buy it on iTunes for 99 cents. Okay. Or you can go on Amazon, mm -hmm. buy it for 99 cents. Spotify, so it's uh, you can get it from all those different things. Ninety nine cents. Ninety nine cents. So people like myself don't know too much about computers. Could you explain us what do we do? We turn our phone on and do what? We just go on Apple. Go on Apple. You go on Apple. I suppose you don't have Apple. Well, you can still get it. Just iTunes on the internet. Okay, so you go, okay, so iTunes and you look up Type brand, in new that day. brand new day. Give you a list of songs that, that are similar to that. Okay. And you see the John Gilpin and then the, the picture of the, the man standing in the sunrise. A beautiful picture. Yeah. And a beautiful picture. Uh, we run out of time, but I'm gonna you, um, I wrote a song years ago called Thank You, Lord, for what you have done for me. Okay. I had the singer, I had the background, it it passed up. It we didn't finish it. You know, I paid for everything, but 
recording studio and everything, but we never finished it. One day, I was in my home, and God said, it's time. And I said, time for what? Thank you, Lord. So, I told John that I have this song. It's copywritten, okay? Now, I, I, you're going to have to help me with that, because I was told, do it the broke man way. And I said, how do you do the broke man way? And they said, you mail it to yourself, the words, oh, yeah. and never open the envelope. And that's what I did. Okay? But I don't have, it's not on iTunes and all that. So you told me to bring you the song. You will learn it and we will record it. Did you tell me that? Yes. Okay. You tell me to jump. Bam! <laughs> Bam. <laughs> <laughs> And it says, thank you, Lord. And it got words and music by Tyra T. Lily McNeil. Wow. I'm not singing it though. Now, the good news is I had Mr. Kenneth Williams come to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. This man is so anointed by God. And he did my favorite song, I Was Born by the River. Remember? He said, I was born. And the crowd just went ballistic, right? He's going to be at the 21st show in July. <laughs> so we can do that. And he said he would love to sing my song. And he said, T. Lily, I love it. I will do it for you. So here's the music, the words. You got T. Lily. You got Ken. And somebody in the audience might want to sing with him. You know, you never know. Is anybody a singer here? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Oh, God, God, did you see everybody turn every color but black? <laughs> they just looking at me. Don't pick me. Don't pick me. <laughs> like, do like God said. I'm a lip singer. Amen? I'm a lip singer. And I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. Oh, got to tell the world this. We was doing Roscoe's, right? And I didn't feel like doing Granny. Granny... Jennifer and LaDonna helped me, uh, Debbie do too, when she's not running around. And they got to help me with my wig and all this other stuff. And I came to Roscoe's and I knew, I, I said, John, I'm not gonna do Granny this time. I have never, ever seen your eyes so big. <laughs> they was like this. <laughs> he said, what? What do you mean you're not gonna do Granny? And I said, I'm going to do Granny. I mean, he really scared me. Really. This is like five minutes before the show. <laughs> <laughs> I left that I'm not going to do Granny. Yeah. I go, what? <laughs> he said, and okay, so. And then she just looked at me and she goes, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the way he looked at me, you know, was like, what did you say to me? <laughs> and I said, no, I'm going to do it. He says, okay, then. You know, and walked away because he's doing Elvis. All right. Matter of fact, I, you do an excellent job. Didn't you just come from Vegas from an Elvis show? Tell us about Actually, that. Mesquite, Nevada. So they, they have Elvis contests all over the world. And uh, once a year, they have a big, huge festival, Elvis Festival, in Mesquite, Nevada. It's a little bit north of Vegas. And they have, this year, they had 22 contestants, Elvis people. They're called ETAs, Elvis Tribute Artists. I'm one of those ETAs. Yeah. <laughs> and so within that contest, they have the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s. And you can enter each one of those airs. And you perform. And, and I tell you what, uh, one, of the, one of the judges was Rich Little. Oh, you remember Rich Little? Oh. Rich. Probably the greatest impressionist uh, yeah. Yeah. of all time. And so he was one of the judges. And uh, it's just a great time. A lot of fans. The place was packed each, each night for each one of those. And then they have the final. So, so I did the 50s. I did the 60s. And I did the 70s. And it's just great to have fun with other guys. You learn from them. And then you bring it back into this seniors. What, what's it? Senior. Sunday Senior Spectacular. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you're just a little bit better than you were before <laughs> you left. No, it's Senior Sunday Spectacular. Oh, Senior Sunday. I had that mixed up. Let's learn it again. Ready? One, two, three. Senior, Senior Sunday, Sunday spectacular. spectacular. Only at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. That's right. Triple S. At the, at the lounge. 
Because he keeps saying, she lives, you, don't, you never say the lounge. So Oh, the lounge. It's the lounge. Triple S at the lounge. The lounge. And Ken, hopefully you be there with us one day. I will. One, one day. Sunday. Well, I think we run out of time. My God. So I don't I'm think not, they saw this. Can they see this? I don't know why. I have a, something wrong with I you? think you need a saxophone on there, too. Of course we do. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ken? That's right. I mean, are you, are you stunned that I, you know, did you think I've been on Ken? Are you serious? You know? No, I knew you did. Thank you, Ken. But anyway, we're going to be doing Granny and our two sisters, if they show up. I got LaDonna playing a part. Yeah, LaDonna is going to be an old lady with Granny this show. Okay, and my sister, hopefully. She said she wanted to be in the show. So it's going to be us three, the same thing. Granny going to make you laugh, and you go come out, hopefully with the right brownies or something. <laughs> I'll tell you about that next show, okay? But anyway, we gonna have, we have to call. I got to say goodbye. Is there anything you want to say, Ken, to say goodbye? Just blessed to be here, and thanks for inviting me. Oh, that is so anything you want to say to the world? Jesus loves you. That, see, that's what I'm talking about. John, do you have something you want to say? Tomorrow is going to be a brand <laughs> new day. Hey, Just hey. keep smiling. And I'm going to close. Thank you for watching the T. Lily Show. Thank you, God, for my talent. Thank you for my family. And most of all, thank you for people that love me, my audience. Thank you. <laughs> and once again, thank you, Jennifer, for hooking me up. Don't I look beautiful? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> what you think, Ken? I think the same, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, she that's made, good, she made this. Pretty. For real. Gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? Yep. Very nice. This is one of my favorites. OK, one day I'll take it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. God love you, and so do I. To next show, thanks for watching the T. Lily Show. Remember, July 12th, we'll be at the 4th Street Senior Center. July 21st, we'll be at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in the Lounge. July 27th, T. Lily will be at Babel Fiber. Bible Faith Easy Ministry. Easy for you to say. Okay. But it, he's not going to cut it out, so why do I worry? Just, just be you. Just be me. Thank That's you. right. Is that a good thing? That's yeah. Good thing. And you know that, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. We go close the show. John said that I could sing Brand New Day with him again. So we go close the show doing that. God love you and so do I. Stay in prayer. That's what we have, baby. Welcome back to the T. Lily Show. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I had an awesome time. I want to thank Johnny G. Thank you. Give him a hand. <laughs> and his buddy, Ken, to the show. And my audience, let me hear you clap. <laughs> so we have to say goodbye. I know, I know, but all you have to do is go to Pagnet, P A D N E T dot TV. You can watch us again as many times as you like. God love you, and so do I. We're going to close the show, but I want to say to my producer, thank you, Andrew, because he got to get out of here. And Pagnet Station, thank you. And we go close with Johnny G. New song, Brand New Day, because he said I could sing it with him. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to close. Good night to next week or next time. God love you, so do I. Stay in prayer. That's all we have. One, two, three.
ups and downs, all the negatives around. I tell you the truth, up to you to choose your attitude. I choose to be happy, happy. I choose to be 